Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did this Valentine's Day look. I did this rose gold eye and this dark glossy lip. And as always, my skin is pretty luminous. Um, my intro is a little bit different. I'm actually holding my camera on a little tripod just so you can see me up close. But yeah, this is the look I came up with and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're new, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you back. And let's get started on this look right here. So first we're gonna take the Anastasia brow pencil and brow gel for my brows. Then we're gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Mothership 5 palette. This palette is so beautiful and I'm excited to use it for this look. Also, please excuse my nails, they look a little janky today. So first we're gonna take that brown shade that I pointed to and we're gonna place it into the crease before we get a little crazy with the blending out, I feel like this is the best method that I've found in terms of getting my eyeshadow where I want it so that when I go to blend it out, I'm not blending something out in a place that I don't want it to be. I feel like the key to a good eyeshadow look is lots of blending. Then I'm going to take the rose gold shade from this palette and I'm going to put it all over my lid. This color is so beautiful and I'm using it dry which is just going to show you how amazing it is. I'm just taking that with a flat shader brush and going all over the lid. This color is perfect because it looks like it's glitter on your eyes but it's not as annoying to apply as glitter would be. And the way it hits the light, you're really going to get a lot of people asking what's on your lid. If you have this palette, I would totally recommend using it. Then I'm going to take the red shade and we're going to put it on the outer corner of the eye. Just to give it a little bit of dimension. I feel like the two colors together go really well because they're both really shimmery. Blended into each other, you just get this really beautiful blown out look. Then we're going to go in with this light white gold green shade. I don't really know how to describe the color, but you can see it on my finger right there. I'm going to press it into the middle of my lid. This is going to bump up the shimmer even more and make your eyes look a little bit rounder. Whenever you accentuate the center of your lid, your eyes look rounder because of the way the light will hit. Just replacing a little bit of that rose gold that got lost. Then we're gonna go in with an eyeliner and line the top of my lid and add a little wing as well because we're gonna go in with false lashes later. So I figure it was best to do this so that we don't have the lash band and the glue peeking out. Next, we're gonna go in with primer. I'm using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I love this stuff. I've used it, I think, in my other tutorials. And the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This stuff is amazing. It looks great on camera, so flash photos, you're not gonna look crazy. And it's a pretty good color match. They have a lot of great shades in their range. Then just doing a quick finger blend before I go in with a damp beauty blender. Guys, I don't know why, but some people still use beauty blenders that are not wet at all, and that's a mistake. Please use your beauty blender damp. That's gonna give you the best results in terms of blending out your foundation. Next, we're gonna go in with the Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer, Central Skin Enhancer. And we're going to use that as concealer. This stuff is so creamy and so beautiful on the skin. It's a little expensive, but I would highly recommend checking it out. Once Sephora does their sale, you can snag it 20% off. Hey. Making sure to get all the way up to my lash line just 
to get rid of any darkness. And then we're gonna go back in with the Beauty Blender to blend it all out so it looks seamless with the foundation. Then we're gonna go put a little bit on other parts of the face like the forehead. I also take it down the nose and I put it on the chin as well. Then we're gonna go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Diffuse Light to set under the eyes. This powder is so gorgeous. It gives your skin a very diffused look per the name. It doesn't look super, so it doesn't look super matte under your eyes because obviously you don't wanna look super matte in some places and then super shiny in others. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And then we're gonna take that same brush with the Charlotte Tilbury powder and powder the rest of the face. I don't wanna to get too crazy with powder, so that's why I'm using a smaller brush because I want this look to be very luminous. I want it to look like you're glowing from every pore, which some people don't like that look. I'm oily, which so it might be weird that I like that look, but whatever. Then we're gonna take the Make It Forever bronzer and start adding a little bit of color into the face, starting with under my cheekbones. I'm not going too crazy contouring or anything. Just wanna add some color in the right areas. And then around my forehead, can't forget the forehead, and I also take it along my jawline, and then I like to go underneath my chin as well to hide any double chin action we might have going on. Next is one of my favorite steps. I'm taking this Natasha Diamond Blush and Glow palette. I think that's what it's called. I'm using that to highlight and for blush. So I'm taking that base color and I'm pressing that into my skin. A lot of people are like, don't use cream over powder, but this stuff does not give me any issues if I put it over powder. And since we lightly powdered, it's fine. So I'm using that first on my cheeks and blending it out a little bit with the Beauty Blender. And then later, I'm gonna go over it with mix by mixing those two colors that I pointed to in the palette that are these really beaming highlight shades. And we're gonna use that to highlight my face. As you can see, it really makes my skin look wet. It doesn't really look like crazy powder. And since we wanna look really luminous and dewy, I felt like this was the right highlighter to use. See, your skin looks so wet. That's exactly how you want to look. And then I put a little bit on the tip of the nose and on the cupid's bow as well, because can't ne neglect those high points. It's very important. It's all about the details. Then I'm taking the cream blush from this palette and patting it onto my cheeks as a base. And then I'm also gonna go back into the palette into the other blush color, which is a powder, and it's a little bit sheerer, but it's gonna help set that cream blush in place. It's always important to set your cream products with powder, guys. Then going back into the Pat McGrath, I'm taking the two eyeshadows I used on my lid and I'm placing them underneath my eyes in the same places. So we have the rose gold on the inner and middle parts of my lower lash line, and then the red is gonna go on the outside just to pull everything together. I feel like this look is much better with eyeshadow as liner underneath because that makes your eyes still look as big as they are. And then we're going to start on the lips. I'm using the MAC Night Moth Lip Pencil to line before we go in with lipstick and lip gloss. This color is really pretty, though dark colors can accentuate dryness, so that sucks, but whatever. Then I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Opium Noir Lipstick just to fill in the rest of my lips. I'm spraying with Fix Plus, and then I realized it like camel spit on my face, so I went in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist 
which I love. Just look at how glowy my skin is. Woo. Then we're going to go in with lashes. And then we're going to take this MAC eyeliner. It's a, like a creamy color. And we're going to line the waterline just so it looks like our eyes are bright and we're awake. It's like one of my favorite steps. I feel like a lot of people neglect this step because they don't really know you should be doing something like this. But nobody is as crazy as I am. Then we're going to mesh the lashes and my real lashes together with some CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. This was a favorite of mine when I was in middle school and I'm using it again. It's not as great as I remember, but I guess our tastes change as we get older. And can't forget the bottom lashes as well. Don't want to get too crazy down there though. And then lastly, we're going to take the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. With a little brush and we're gonna put it all over the lip I felt like this gloss was really pretty over the dark lip it gives it a little bit of something different and that's the look guys I hope you enjoyed it I love the way it turned out you can always change up anything you want but yeah that's the end of the video I hope to see you guys soon bye <laughs>